Uh, early morning garden quickie. It's supposed to be Thursdays. This is Thursday, but I keep missing Thursdays and hitting all the other days. Planted some more green bean, germinated green bean seed all the way up to that golf club shaft yesterday. So, probably have, you know, 30 green beans now or so. Celery, bib lettuce, butter crunch lettuce, broccoli, 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 carrots, between the far right and the stick on the left. They're popping up slow. Seems to be my life. Everything is, you know, slower. I'm a real patient individual. All the garlic. All the way down and around. Peppers. Still have to try to figure out what those peppers right there are that have nothing written on the stick. So, you know, I do that every now and then. There's mushrooms popping up right here. And I was told that when those pop up, you know, you have good soil. So, you know, hey, I'll take it. Marigolds blooming. I got sweet potato slips. There's onions, by the way. Sweet potato slips from two different companies. Man, and things are getting huge overnight. And one company, uh, they did not arrive very healthy, but they did perk up a little overnight. These are russet potatoes. Russet potatoes. Now this container is already dim near the top, so I'll add a little bit more soil and then that's done. I don't add anything else. This one, I'll keep adding soil till we get to the top. And then you let them die out. After two weeks, after the foliage dies out, then you can start pulling them up. Good thing in the containers is just dump it over and pick the potatoes out. So, these sweet potato slips are from one company. These are from a different company. Um, so, we'll see how well it does. leaf damage but yes those are both from the first company and these are from the second some of them are perking up a little these three in the center are from the first company that I got them that were good this one was from the second company uh, again they're perking up a little from where they were when I planted them and yesterday it is pretty sad I think the goat water is full now, so I'm going to turn this off. And I've got more marigolds that are blooming. And I did some maintenancing of my tomatoes yesterday. Any stem that was touching the ground was removed. I'm sure I missed a couple. There's some suckers that grow in. I'll have to go back and, and get those off. Try to keep the bottom foot, at least, of the plant free of stem. These are not, you know, obviously tall enough to remove all the stems for a foot. Uh, as soon as they get two, three feet tall, Everything for 12 to 18 inches at the bottom will be stemless. So that's supposed to help with pests and airflow. I don't have anything budding on the nasturtrium. No flowers or anything. But they are getting really big. So we'll see how it helps overall with pest control.